How's it going, Gears fam? The people from the internet. It's your boy Jedi, and today I'm going to be making a pool play prediction video. Who do I think, in my opinion, are going to make it out of these pools to get into champ bracket? And we're going to start off with Optic Gaming. Uh, this roster consists of Explosive, Mental, Summons, Praised, and Solars. They're the number one ranked NA team right now. And they just show dominance. Uh, there's a 2K happening. I don't know if they're going to win it or not on Easter Sunday. This is as of where I'm recording it. But the last 2K, they did lose. So they are human. But off to the next NA team. They're top six. I don't know exactly where they're ranked. But this roster consists of Kyle, Shock, Hell, Crash, and who am I missing? Clouts, okay. Um, pretty solid squad if they're on fire, no negativity, and obviously they play better on land. Yeah, the veteran like mindset, I guess you could say. Um, recently they've been performing very poorly online. They lost to like I don't even know, just a bunch of randoms in the 2K. I don't know what happened in there. Um, but um. On the next team in this pool, we have Fire and Ice. They are the number two ranked Latin American team. I had to literally go check this out in this 2K to wonder who is on this roster. The Latin scene, if you're not the number one ranked Latin team, like the rosters just shuffle like crazy. I just don't understand. Probably the visa issues. Hopefully, in the near future, like. That won't screw them over, but I feel like that's the main cause and issue for that. Uh, their roster consists of Demon, Choche, Poides, Pe, Pe, and Ottens. Uh, they're all solid players. Um, Demon's like the next up upcoming uh, like powers, I guess I would assume. The Latam scene, I would I would say like a talented young player, but I just. I don't see enough firepower to take down all these teams, but you never know. They could upset, you know, an open bracket team or simplicity. But, um, yeah, as after all, talking about all this, Optic Gaming 2-0, sorry for the handwriting or whatever, pretty terrible. Simplicity 1-1 one and, one and Fire and Ice 0-2. These are obviously safe picks, but I think pretty obvious uh, I could I could see an open bracket team go two and one in this pool depending on which open bracket team it is or I could see them going like one and two and fire and ice going oh and three so we're gonna go on to pool B which the team is teams we have in pool B are pool B are reciprocity Mazer gaming and Horus esports Reciprocity, the number two ranked NA uh, team, and their roster consists of Rushies, Franchise, Icy, Sleepy Time, and Rezik. Uh, it's a solid little squad, but I feel like it doesn't fit for a championship level. But for the pool play, uh, we're just going to stick to that and see who's going to get out of it. We have Mazer Gaming, we have Exclusive, Crushmo, Lava, um, Ezzy, and Mortifies. Uh, these guys have been performing very well recently online. Uh, they beat Reciprocity in the finals, but then pretty sure they lost to Rise. But it's a pretty good accomplishment for adding. Uh, veteran players like Crushmo and Lava definitely made the team a lot better, but we'll see how they perform on LAN. I've been hearing things about they're not the same players like they are on LAN, but who knows? Uh, Horus Esports is the number two ranked EU team, which I need to look over here. This roster consists of Dragons, Demonic. Chidwick, Sarksta, and Warrior Guns. I guess they just kind of like made a random roster just to get that spot to be in pool play. So, 
don't really know about anything about them. I feel like they're just a pickup team. So off the rip, I'm just going to give them an 0-2. They don't got the experience or practice. They have some experience. They've been on to land. They're just as a team together, and I don't know. I just feel like they're not high enough level. This is going to be the hardest one. Like, if Mazer plays like they do, like they do when they play online to land, I could see them going 2-0 and or 3-0. and But this is, like, it's really hard. I can see that Reciprocity has more land players, but some of those players sometimes don't show up on day one. They're a little slow. Yeah, it could be like if these two teams play off the rip, like like just first game on a fucking on main stage, very first game, like <sighs> this one's really hard. Um, you know what? Fuck it. <laughs> Mazer's been into so many situations, and they have nothing to lose compared to you know a reciprocity. I'm gonna go with them going two and zero. Got a hungry crush mo and a, you know, composed lava. It seems like in a good spot on the team. And I'm gonna put reciprocity at one and one. <sighs> I need to change it up, but I think that's what's gonna happen here. Mazer gaming two zero. Out of these teams. Horus Esports 0 and 2, Reciprocity 1 and 1. Whatever open bracket team comes out of this, I do not see them going top two. But I can see them being Horus Esports. I don't think they're that great. I think if there's any other EU team that comes to Boston that comes into open bracket, could beat them. Like the Cyclone with Cougars. Um, They've been performing pretty well. They always have to play, you know, Phelps and them in the 2Ks. So I think that's what's going to happen Pool B. Mazer Gaming has a lot of momentum, reciprocity, not so much. But maybe after this 2K, I don't know what's going to happen. Maybe they'll lose that confidence. But from the past, you know, month before this, obviously today of the 2K, Mazer has been performing better like every day and they're grinding so i'm gonna give it to them <sighs> pool c we have rise nation ghost gaming and men of steel um men of steel is the roster that is gonna be now called nemesis esports uh they're like the eight seed na team uh, that roster consists of speedy toy soldier Zerpting, um, Hudson, and Sneaky, just a bunch of players just left out out of all the other teams, you know, basically a pickup pro team, another one, but this one has a lot of firepower, good spots, um, you got your three Slayers and Zerpting, Speedy, and Toy, and you got, I think, Hudson's in the support role, if they, they put him in there, is very good. And then obviously Sneaky, he's, he's been always grinding from day one in Gears 4 on the singles grind. He knows how to play those homes. So I think this roster is pretty solid. But with the pool that they're in, this is like the pool of death in my opinion. Um, but yeah, Rise Nation, I think they're the third seeded NA team. This roster consists of Jerpy, Drix, Vexies, Powers, and Detox. Uh, pretty similar, like they have the firepower. Ghost Gaming, number one Latin American team. This roster consists of Idenos, Chaos, Dezenite, Monkeys, and Sleefer. Uh, they have a, a really good roster there as well. All those key pieces. Um, I think though, out of this pool of death, what's going to happen? I think what's going to happen here is... Ghost is going to go 2-0. and oh. They're just dominant. I don't know what the fuck it is, but they, I feel like they're really good. Rise Nation out of Men of Steel. 
Men of Steel have nothing to lose, but some of those players are inconsistent on Men of Steel. But they could take a map on these any of these teams. But I'm gonna give Rise Nation one and one. Men of Steel zero and two. Men of Steel can upset both of these teams and go in like three and zero or two and zero. Any of these teams can do any of that, but I feel like this is the right bracket, like for number one Ghost, number two Rise, and Men of Steel number three. Who we'll play team that comes out of this is not winning a game. That's that's all I gotta say. They're not winning a game. <laughs> now we're gonna go to Pool D, the last pool for Boston. We have Elevate. The number one EU ranked um, EU team. This roster consists of Jack, Crimson, Hydrone, Phelpsy, and Crazed. They've been dominant in the EU scene for a long time. Number one pretty much every time. Uh, they maybe lost very few, the core three at least, 2Ks to like the French guys and I think probably like Spanish guys a couple times too, but. They're like your ghost gaming. They're pretty dominant. And, uh, yeah, we're going to go on to Bread Torches. They're under the org of Fable now. Fable Esports, which this roster consists of God Plays, Kenny, Cody, um, Kenny, God Plays, Toadie. Damn, I don't even know. Haven't been in my head recently. I don't know. I'll probably put it up there on the board or whatever. Tell you guys who's on the roster. But then we have Denial Esports is basically PJJ plus Yogurt. So if you don't know what PJ who PJJ is, it's Firearm, Tristan, Heza, and Zenon. Got you know. Old chemistries back together. I guess they play. It. They always do this. I don't know why. It's very weird. But these two teams, like this, is forced. Some of them don't want to play with each other, but it's there. They always go back together. This one's like a pickup team. I forget who fully on this roster. And Elevate is the EU team. I feel like they easily just. If they're on their shit too well, and honestly, this is a 50-50. Like, the Nile, that team is run off of hype. If they start off well, then they're going to win. But if they start off shitty, then they're going to get shit on. Red Tortures, they have some solid players, but... I can't really remember the full roster. It's bugging the crap out of me. Uh, man. Whatever the open bracket though team, if it's like a really good team, like a hive if they were came, come into this bracket, I feel like they could be the number one seed in that pool or number two if hive came into this pool, but I, highly unlikely though. But you know, I'm going to give it to Bread Tortures. They have some good players on there in O2. Because uh, these two teams are kind of forced, in my opinion. And that's it for uh, my pool play prediction. I want to go back and see. I have Optic Gaming coming out in first. Simplicity second. Uh, pool C, I have Ghost coming out in first. Rise second. Pool B, I have Mazer coming out first. Reciprocity second. And in Pool D, I have Elevate coming in first, and Fable. This is this would be Fable coming in second. Uh, uh, there's a lot of tough ones. Like, like this could be switched around. Like Reciprocity could take first. These two teams could be either second or last. I don't, I don't know. Open bracket team can fuck that shit up. Anyone could be first or second or third in this pool. It's the pool of death, in my opinion. In pool C and pool A, 
honestly, whatever whoever the open bracket team comes out, I feel like they could take second in this easily if they are they are on their shit and it's simplicity still playing like how they are online. But yeah, that's my pool play predictions. Let me know in the comment section below who do you think is going to be one and two in their pools to advance in champ bracket. And uh, peace.